I hear from many firms that say they fixed fee bill and don't need to track their time. But how do you measure your profitability unless you track your most important cost, staff time? It's so easy to get started with Imagine Time, Time and Billing. Imagine Time's light interface has a simplified ribbon menu with the same powerful components that are included in our more comprehensive practice management product. For instance, right here, manage clients, record your time, do bills, post payments, service charges, statements, apply hanging payments, and your basic reporting features, along with a separate ribbon for setup, staff setup, work codes, company setup, and so on. There's just a few functions to learn in order to get started. The simplified menu reduces the time for small and mid-sized firms that are interested only in the time and billing features of our practice management suite and do not need to customize menu ribbons, extensive staff permission sets, or the more complex reporting requirements when multiple partners are involved. Notwithstanding, staff can still be restricted from accessing certain features. I've put the screen up of our practice management product to show you the more extensive menus that are involved if you use the complete suite of tools. There's a separate menu for billing, for collections, for calendar due date tracking, for reporting. A separate video covers our comprehensive product suite and includes extensive permission sets which allow the administrator to tailor the look and feel of the product for different staff levels and users. Now let's get started. Many firms want to simply track and record time so a comparison can be made of total time incurred to amounts billed. This is our basic after the fact time entry screen. Very simple to record a time slip. Pick your work code. These can be alpha or numeric. You can hide your billing rates, record a time amount, and an explanation which you can augment or have default to the basic explanation used for a particular work code. And that's all there is to recording time. You can use these repeat functions when redundant time entries are being made, for example, year-end extensions and things like that. Now on our reporting screen, if you're just interested in tracking time, you're going to choose time and expense history reporting. This drops down a screen which allows you extensive filters and sorting capabilities for reporting time by client and staff for any selected period. If that's all you're doing, that's all you're really going to need. You're going to need to set up your staff, your billing rates, enter your time, and then report on it. Simple. I should also mention that you have available slip timers that let you track time as you work on a client and you can have multiple timers running. Tax professionals and other people that are at their desk, timers can be a great advantage. Firms that want to get the most out of Imagine Time will both record and bill time in our product. If you use QuickBooks, you can integrate with Imagine Time using our simple or advanced integration methods. The simple method brings the clients and balances in from QuickBooks and exports deposits along with monthly journal entry adjustments. This is the basic import screen and it allows you to import things from QuickBooks and then you can determine whether you're going to export deposits and record an entry or whether you want to use the more advanced dual ledger method. Other tools to help you get started involve tax software integration. We integrate with five tax software products, allowing you to bring in client information along with invoices. Clients not in QuickBooks or in your tax software would get set up on this screen here, which is a comprehensive client management screen, letting you record all the phone numbers, all the address information, notes, assign it to a billing partner, track your ends, and the like. In order to get going, you're going to need to set up work codes, which are assigned to time slips. These can be alpha or numeric, chargeable or non-chargeable, and you need to set your staff up. So here's the basic staff screen. The staff person has multiple rates, one default rate of $150 an hour, and then also associates different rates with different types of work. You can also associate rates with specific clients. So we have some advanced rate template features that will customize the way you handle your rates. If you're interested in that, watch one of our training videos. 
As far as time tracking is concerned, once you've recorded your time, the daily monthly reporting screen allows you to specify a date range and then report on the time for that day, subtotaled by day in this case. Report both chargeable time, non-chargeable, and expenses there. So for those of you that are just interested in time tracking, this is an excellent screen. The other screen that's very helpful would be the work in progress or the billing history screen. In this case, what you're looking at is a summary of all the time recorded for that client for a particular date range. Now, there is a variety of sorts that you can choose. In this case, we're sorting by date, but I find work code more useful. So there's the same report sorted by work code. And many firms, you stop there. But to track realization, the difference between what you bill and the time that you record, you need to do your invoicing in Imagine Time. Our invoicing is very flexible, as illustrated in these few examples. Now, some firms use detailed slip bills. So, going over here with all rise rows, I have flagged $2,400 of slips to be invoiced, and there is a sample invoice here. Okay, If I want to, I can put a previous balance on that. Now, if I like, for example, to do monthly invoicing and don't show the time involved because it's fixed fee, this super bill here is an example of that. Okay, just a simple monthly invoice. Payment stub is optional on the bottom. Let's put a previous balance on that right here. Okay, so there's your monthly recurring invoice with a previous balance. This can be automated, so it doesn't have to be recalibrated every month. It becomes a very simple matter of just choosing your monthly invoices and the auto biller, super bill, monthly, okay, load them. And all of the monthly invoices now are set up and ready to go. If I need to change one or two, I just drill down. Okay, I changed the amount on that one. Rather than print them all, I'll just proof the one that I just changed. Looks good. And now I'm ready to run the batch. So I'd select all bills. So let's clear the dashboard and go back to show you one other flexible bill. Castle Realty. Drilling down into the super bill, I'm going to pick a different template. These are like stored Word documents. You can reuse them. This is our year-end bill for Castle, okay? And it has several elements. An element for the compilation work. Down here is the time that's getting cleared. There's a write-up involved. 1700 is against $1,450 of time. Tax services, and then an extra services element, as you'll see here. So here is the year-end invoice for Castle Realty. It shows the compilation work. This time disclosure is optional and can be automated with special characters. Preparation of corporate returns. So this involves the amounts that are generally fixed. And then down here, the clients agreed to pay for any work outside the scope of our normal engagement as long as we show the details about it. So we've detailed the time slip and the hours involved. Down below, we show the previous balance and any intervening activity. So there is a complete and comprehensive invoice that can get recreated from one year to the next simply by going into the template, changing the amount, and then typing a few changes. For instance, if I don't want to show the time disclosure, I comment it out. And now here's the invoice for the next year. When the invoice is posted, it can be emailed and the time is cleared against the invoice amounts. That gives you the ability to report realization. Our most simple realization report is shown here, client snapshot, and we'll go for the calendar year of 2011. We'll show our clients in descending order of realization. So the best ones come first in this. Let's hide the ribbon and expand the report. And you can see that uh, Mastic Kennel is in theory our best client because it has 239% realization, $306 an hour, invoiced 9,162, paid 7588, 
Average day is outstanding, 43. That's not too bad. The only thing that would upset the apple cart is if the client has a lot of unbilled time that we can't bill or has a large build balance. So that information is also provided to you, which could skew the realization figures if the, if the numbers are large and you can't collect them. Now, as you go down the list, you're going to see another client here that looks pretty good, 113% realization, but 1,100 days to collect their bill. So they're they're not a client to have. We need to get rid of them. Basic realization reporting is what most firms need to determine the efficiency of their staff and the effectiveness of their clients. And that's included in Imagine Time, Time and Billing. For more information about our product, you can watch our training videos or contact our sales staff at 877-520-1525. Go to imaginetime.com and download a copy of the software for yourself and try it out.